McKinnon is so predictable, I feel like Gene Kelly without the rain. For such a little victory dance, is it? I should strangle you right here in the street. But you've tied my hands, haven't you? You know, you really should take care of yourself. You look like you just crawled out from under a rock. But I'm not quite myself. Thanks to you. Now, much as I'd like to take credit for that, I really can't. You've been self-destructing for years, Hutchins. It's true. It's true. But the death of a son did hasten it on a bit. Grief does terrible things to people. Some people lose their sanity. How's Rachel? I'm sure you know that she's asked me to move out. She asked me to leave. The choice for her was quite simple. My love for her. Or my hatred of you. Well, now, I didn't know that. I'm so sorry. You keep out of my way, Grant. You keep out of my way. Oh, I'm not done with you, old man. But I will be. Soon. I am, Grant. Soon. What are you up to? Very soon. <laughs> Why such haste, Grant? Leaving so soon. Don't think so. Uh, uh, let go of me. You know what's going on. Don't I? You had to let go of me before it's too late. Before what? Before what? A weapon? A weapon? A gun? Well, who's the target this time? You don't understand. Don't I? Don't I? Yeah. Damn you, Cody Mercer. That's what I heard you say, didn't I? Well, your prison buddy, what are you going to... You're going to kill him tonight, are you? Innocent lives are at stake. People could get hurt. Yes, people could get hurt, like Captain McNamara did the last time you helped Mercer escape. Well, not this uh, time, my friend. No. Uh, so? He who dies pays all debt. 